Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar 3, as uh, reported by Dave last night on Observer Radio. Brock and Cody is taking place at Ford Field. That's the next match. So it won't be at Money in the Bank. And uh, it is going to be, I have been told, something. It's not just going to be a straight match. They've got some sort of stip that uh, allegedly we have not seen in a while. And uh, that, that to me means not Hell in a Cell. So I wonder what, uh, what stip they might be coming up with for the uh, third match between these two. I hope it's not Ring of Fire. Can you imagine? That's one I, I don't quit. need to see again. I quit with Brock. You could do I quit with Brock. And it's 1-1 one, one right now? Hey, Man, listen. If they, drama building into a Brock quit? If they really are trying to get Cody, like, you know, the claim is, oh, you know, he uh, it wasn't enough of a journey or whatever, and we got to make this guy big and blah, blah, blah. I mean, if you do want to do that, if you really do, I mean, he would make Brock Lesnar say I quit. Brock Lesnar has never said I quit in his life. And uh, that's certainly what you would do if you were, like, determined to make Cody the next top guy. I don't know. To me, I would save that one till the Royal Rumble before you make Brock say I quit. That way, Cody's got would have all of the cards leading into a big match at WrestleMania. But then again, maybe we're not going that direction since everybody keeps shoving Solo Roman as a possibility, you know. I, again, whether it's sooner rather than later, I guess we'll see. But by doing the the way they are with with at SummerSlam, Cody and Brock having that match, you'll kind of know by that point whether people are really behind Solo enough. If you want to do a push towards the Royal Rumble, where he could be a guy that faces off against Roman. Uh, to me, though, again, how long do you go with with without giving Cody that win over Roman? Because how long does this journey have to be? We got some good suggestions here. We got Punjabi prison match. Oh, no. We've got that uh, Ken Shamrock uh, Lion's Den match. Lion's Den. Evening gown match. I, I would bet we probably won't see that one, but hey, you never no. know. No. The Yappa Pie strap match that Hulk Hogan had that one time. <laughs> Remember that one? Yes. Blindfold match. Oh, God. I could see first blood because uh, I'm sure both of those guys would, uh, you yes. know, do it the safe way where you. Bang your head into something really hard to uh, get some juice. So anyway, back in a moment with more Observer Live. Um, holy smokes, the chats are a million times better today. You know, you don't say. I saw Disco Inferno on on uh, on Twitter after we, we noted that the video was going to go subscriber only on Twitch and YouTube. He goes, it'll be an echo chamber or something like that. I was like, brother, you think that amongst our subscribers, there's an echo chamber about anything? Get real. What we did was we eliminated all of the trolls that uh, went on there for free to troll. Now, if you want to troll, you must pay to troll. And uh, as far as everyone who subscribes, it's largely exactly the same as it was before. So really, for the most part, the only complaints were amongst people who weren't paying. So uh, everyone who's paying and has been paying seems quite happy with this change here. Although there are a couple of people that, when I was talking about freeloaders, for some reason, I've noticed this sometimes. I go off on a rant about something, and, uh, and people listen, and they assume I must be talking specifically about them. And uh, that's usually not the case, you know. I'm, you remember I'm talking we about, had a conversation you know, about, Brian, sometimes it's how you say things. Well, apparently I hear that a lot. Like, I say things in a way where everyone thinks I'm talking specifically to them, and I'm not. You have a derisive tone. You know, I mean, it can be if you go on, encompassing with your, you know. Here's the thing. You go on that YouTube chat for about five minutes, the old one, when it was free for everybody, yeah. and it should be very abundantly clear exactly who I am talking about. And in fact, you go on the chat right now, and they're all gone those people so anyway it truly is a cesspool live well not anymore YouTube it's not comments. anymore oh my god yeah and we There's remain on lower sports byline the sports byline app yeah. where this, where this show began the show didn't have video until like 2019 it was it was just all audio I love because, it when people still yell at us about going to commercial. It's like, do you understand what over-the-air radio is? And well, the thing yeah. is, some of them really don't. <laughs> my <laughs> heart. Don't. My heart, friends. Not I heart. I hate that. Part. My heart. Yes. Is in radio. Damn right. I am a radio man. Mm-hmm. I 
stole from you know, the best. You know how many years I, I stressed over the audio, what people heard when they listened to these shows? I stressed for years. I, I did all sorts of things to make the audio great. And then when it was time for video, Tony just came in and put some stuff up. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Mm. And I don't want to even start. I don't want to look at it. Remember I way back in let the it day, go. boss man? Way back in the day when uh, we wrung out the love sponge. Remember those days? Yeah. Rang Bubba right got out. really mad at me one time. I don't remember yeah. why. Tried to get the show oh, kicked do. off uh, byline. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Derek Bergen. It didn't work. Did not. No, no. Is he still around? Yeah, he's on uh, Rich and Shameless with Hulk Hogan looking like a bum, like everybody on that show did. You want to see a show where you like nobody won? Look at Gawker against Hulk Hogan with the Gawker people or Peter Thiel and Bubba. And it's just, oh, God, you can't get away from it. It's like the slimiest stuff in the world. Just terrible. Pathetic. So we've got a couple of shows coming up. Actually, we'll start with uh, Twitch and WWE since we were talking about Twitch. Two months after the deal was reported, WWE and Twitch have made their partnership official, according to WrestlingObserver.com. WWE issued a press release on Monday announcing that they and Twitch have agreed to a multi-year partnership. The deal will see the return of the official WWE Twitch channel, wrestler channels, and a new, quote, companion sidecast for WWE Raw. This companion sidecast yes. is going to debut on Twitch during Raw tonight. The broadcast begins at 8 Eastern. We'll bring fans, quote, behind the scenes and closer to the in-ring action. Sounds like, sounds like Observer Live started? is what that sounds like. Well, didn't they do that when the network started? I think so. The they weekly viewing online? experience will be led by a rotating cast of hosts and will regularly feature appearances by WWE superstars, unique and exclusive content, such as backstage interviews and more. The channel will be the home to other live productions, will serve as an alternate live streaming feed for oh all of boy, WWE's Manny premium live event press conferences. Maybe we should do press conferences on Twitch. I hadn't thought of that. I might do that, actually. Because, you know, we got a lot of stuff coming up for subscribers, not the least of which is uh, uh, June. Let me get the exact date because, you know, it's very important. J Don't give me one of those. Oh, June twentieth. June twentieth. Uh -huh. Tuesday, June twentieth, on the Brian and Vinny show, we will kick off twenty-one years ago in NWA TNA. Mm -hmm. We are going back to the asylum years, and Vinny, and Craig, and the Emmy Award-winning Sean Garrett. That's right. We'll all be watching NWA TNA. Every single week on the Brian and Vinny show. And we can't skip because it's got to be 21 years ago in NWA TNA. What other professional wrestling based website has got two Emmy Award winners working for them? Hmm? Who's the other one? Who else Jim has Valley. Emmy? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Golly. Man. He also does Wrestling Observer Live Saturdays at one because I know you forget about that. I plug that on every single show. I don't Roddy know about Piper's you. Roddy Piper's assistant on uh, yesterday, yes, too. Yes, he Gotta did. Catch Lewis that Rock. One. I remember That's him right. from way back in the day. I knew him before he even hooked up with Roddy. He was a wrestler for uh, Tim Flowers. Roddy's had some... Now, is how interesting a personality is he? Because, believe me, I know the Johnny Fair plays and some of the people that have surrounded Roddy Piper from over the years. Is he a, a more of a normal, level-headed man? As much as you can be hanging around Piper? I'm not sure anybody could be at level headed hanging around Piper, but I you know. You can also find me at Vincent Verhi on Cameo. Oh my god. <laughs> I will send you a happy birthday wish. <laughs> I will send you a happy anniversary wish. Granny, you ever thought about being on Cameo? What is it? My computer, my front page is uh, uh Microsoft and I g go through there and see all kinds of lies and stuff like that. And here you are, you're doing a commercial. And then you had me on there when I was ranting about WrestleMania. Did you get my permission? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, what? Just, what? Just stop You're... for a second. Your front page is Microsoft. I guess. I don't even know what that means, your front page is Microsoft. What do you mean you go through there and see all the lies? What does that mean? Well, they have a whole bunch of stuff, you know, about this and that and this and that, you know, all kinds like of news. Like the news? News? I don't post the videos. I don't edit the videos. If you saw some video or some commercial, 
I have no idea what it is or where it came from or who edited it together. I'm sure it was someone from the site. It's not no, Tony, it's not and it's not Dave, and it's not me. And it's not Vinny who's busy doing cameos. That's right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.